miles an hour in 20 seconds. That's what I can do. Now, what about up a hill? Okay, the, the best diesel trucks can only do 45 miles an hour for 5% grade. Tesla and Semi can do 65 miles an hour for 5% grade. Gross. But what this means is that if you've got a, if you're pulling a load over the Rockies or some mountain strain up a hill, you, you're earning per mile. You're earning 50% more per mile than you are in a diesel truck. That's a gigantic difference. So, um, now, one of the biggest questions we've been asked about uh, connected trucks is, well, how far can they go? Because well, it's fine. It's a 500 mile range. There's no, uh, you're not constantly shifting gears. It has one, one gear. 
So it's, it's, it's smooth. It's like driving, it's like driving a Tesla. It's literally driving a Model S or a Model X or Model 3. Um, it's just big. And so it really, it's super easy to drive. It feels incredibly responsive. It's not like any truck that you've ever driven. Um, and, and the point of view that you have is also incredible. We, we put the driver in the center. So the driver's actually in, in the center of the truck. You're positioned like you're in a race car. Uh, you have complete visibility of the road and all the <laughs> It's a beautiful, spacious interior. You can stand up inside. It's got refined screens. Oh, wow. uh, and it's, it, it just feels incredible to drive this. It's one of the best feelings. Uh, it's, it's, so, it's incomparably better than, than, another, than any other truck on the road. You really have to drive it to understand just how good that feels. Like, I can drive this thing, and I have no idea how to drive this that way. <laughs> so take a few, look, take a few more shots in the interior. Thousand pounds moving at 60 miles an hour. That's it's a very dangerous thing. 
every truck we sell will have the Hans Autopilot as standard. Yeah. The truck will automatically break. What do I mean? Yeah, you read it too. Um, it will automatically break, but uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if, even if, uh, even if you're in a truck and you have a medical emergency, the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response, you will actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. Oh, wow. It's going to take care of you, it's going to take care of other cars, it's going to take care of pedestrians. This is a massive increase in safety. Awesome. Yeah. A few other things about safety. So with that central position, you're in a very safe position. Uh, even if you were to fly with, with, with another semi, uh, you have a lotus center of gravity that gives you really good handling. It means the probability of a rollover is massively reduced because the battery pack is in the full pan and, uh, and roller risk is, is, is dramatically reduced. Um, and perhaps most importantly, uh, Jack and I think is, is uh, usually the worst nightmare of, of a trucker. Uh, how do you stop your, your vehicle from Jack and I think if you're in difficult conditions. The truck will automatically stop Jack and I because it's got independent motors on each wheel and it'll dynamically adjust the torque on each wheel so that Jack and I think is impossible. Yeah. The worst member is gone. Thanks for keeping us safe. You're not worried about it. You love the president! <laughs> Uh, reliability is very important. The, the, the truck is, is your life, it's your business. The truck breaks down, you disappoint your customers. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a horrible thing for your horrible week. It can break down in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's safety issues. Uh, reliability is incredibly important. We're putting massive attention is making this truck, truck incredibly reliable. And that's why we are guaranteeing that this truck will not break down for a million miles. Because it has four independent motors. You can lose two of those four motors, and the truck will still keep going. In fact, even if you only have two of the four motors active, it'll still be a diesel truck. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of brake, there's a lot of brake wear. But because the, with, with the electric motor, you can turn the brakes into generators. So every time you brake, that kinetic energy of braking goes right straight back into the battery pack instead of keep, instead of wearing down the brake pad. So the brake pad basically lasts forever. The, the, the so yeah, no brake, no brake pad. Changes our never more about transmission. Uh, because there's no transmission, transmission can't break. There are no emissions, no scrubbers, no differentials. Um, and and this is what we try like best: thermonuclear explosion-proof glass. Close, close. What? So standard glass. Now, why is this important? Because they look nothing. Um, by the nuclear explosion of the so the, the, the Actually, what's important here is like, by nuclear so by the nuclear explosion, or you get a full refund. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the reason this is important is because uh, truck windshields are huge, and they crack about once a year. Um, and if the truck windshield is cracked, they're not allowed to drive. But actually, it's truck off road if you have a cracked crack windshield, and that, that means lost revenue. You just point customers. It's a terrible. It's a terrible day, and you can stuck in the middle of nowhere. Take ages to get a to get a new windshield. So actually, this this, this detail, uh, this detail matters a lot 
uh, to, to someone who really is, is, understands Spark. Um, it's, it's small but very important. Then we have, in terms of connectivity to your truck, understanding what's going on, we have the Tesla app that gives you full information about your truck. This is like sort of normal, it's like we take it for granted uh, with the got a Model S or Model X or something like that, but this is not normal actually for trucks. You have full access to all your truck information, your remote diagnostics, you can uh, see um, what's going on, you prevent the maintenance. The truck will actually anticipate when it needs to be made, when it needs maintenance and, and inform you ahead of time. Um, and uh, it connects with uh, the fleet, so if you're trying to manage a fleet of thousands of trucks, this is also incredibly important, all this data is coming in, you know exactly what's going on, uh, it's going to uh, really help you manage the truck. Now, having said all this, you're probably wondering how much is this going to cost, because Tesla stuff is expensive. Um, <laughs> but we realize that trucking, the economics of trucking matters immensely. If you have a truck, if your cost per mile is too high, it, it doesn't make economic sense. You can't make it work. So we really thought about this a lot. And when you take everything into account, take the least cost, the insurance cost, maintenance, all the factors, the, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than, than a Tesla semi per mile. One. From day one, having a Tesla Semi will be a diesel truck on economics. Day one. And this is, at, this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is the, this is the, this is the worst case scenario comparison. This is taking max vehicle growth. It's, it's going at 60 miles an hour. Um, and it's assuming $250 gasoline price. We're guaranteeing a 7 cent kilowatt wholesale price. I want to clear about that. This is real, these are real numbers. And it only gets better than this. This is the worst case scenario. Now, one truck, one, a Tesla truck considered by itself beats other diesel trucks. But what if you have a convoy? So what if you have uh, trucks, two trucks following? So you, you're, you're, you're more like a train, truck, train driver. In fact, um, the, the concrete technology, the train heat technology, this is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. So this is, I want to be clear, this is something we can do now.
Uh, it's, it's the, it was the, the, the foundation of the whole company. It was the Tesla Roadster. People have asked us for a long time, when are you going to make a new Roadster? We are making it now. So it has all that functionality with four seats. It's so sexy. Yeah. 